Hi and welcome. In this short video, I will show you how you can use the new player in the Apple TV app. First of all, where are you going to get the new player? The new player will be active in all live races and replays, which have multiple angles. So for example, Formula 1 races, qualifyings and free practices. In all other videos, which only have one angle, for example, Formula 2, Formula 3, or Super Cup, you will still get the default Apple TV player because it doesn't make sense to show the new player with only one view. If we for example enter the race replay of the Bahrain Grand Prix, the main feed will automatically play. Now you are in the new player. If you swipe from the right, you will get the channel menu. In this menu, you can just simply select the channel you want to add and it will automatically be added to the grid. You can theoretically add all 24 channels but depending on your internet connection, some streams may start to buffer a bit. When you add a channel, it will automatically be synchronized to all the other channels. If you now scroll around on this view, the selected channel will get an overlay, so you can identify what driver or feed it is. Now if we select Latifi's channel and click on it, we will get this little menu. The first button is the close button. It will remove the selected feed. The next buttons are for playback control. They are synchronized to all the channels. So if I for example fast forward 15 seconds, all channels are gonna skip 15 seconds forward and still be synchronized. And also if I press on the rewind button, all channels will go back 15 seconds together and still be synchronized. The play pause button will play or pause all players at the same time, which you can also do by pressing on the play pause button on the Apple TV remote. This can also be done without the overlay being active. Formula One is back. The next buttons are a bit special. The settings you will make will be saved to the specific channel type. So if I press the mute button on a driver channel now, it will be saved for all driver channels which I may add in the future. So I, I will now add Verstappen's feet. And as we can see, his channel is now default muted. The next control is the volume button. With it you can control the volume of every channel independently. So you can have the volume of the main feed on 100% and have the driver feeds for example on 25%. So you can still listen to the commentary on the main feed and not be bothered by the loud engine sound. The next control is the, is the language select. Every channel you add will be set to the selected language. But what are the channel groups? There are three channel groups. The first group is only the main feed. The second group are the additional feeds, which are the data feed, the pit lane channel and the tracker feed. And the third group are the driver cams. So your settings will be saved for each channel group independently. Now to the last button the full screen button. If we have it playing for example and you see there are some action going on on the main feed, you can full screen it and it will pull up the selected feed to the full screen. You are now also in the default Apple player. In case you watch the races only on one channel, I recommend this because then you won't see the overlay of the new player. Now in a replay you can obviously fast forward. So if I go to 1 hour 25 now and exit out, all channels are gonna sync up with that time. If you see that a channel is going out of sync, you can simply press pause and play again, because on the play action, all channels are gonna be synced up again. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you a great race weekend.